All right, you can see that 10 there, right in the center, right in the center of your screen there. It's on the. We're, right now we're looking at the uh, the harmonic balance here, and I've already painted the 10. I did that a while ago. Um, I did that when I was rebuilding the engine. But basically, uh, if you're rebuilding the engine, you need to mark your mark your uh, mark your main mark, the 10 10 degree mark, before you put the put it on. It's, it's a lot lot easier. To paint it then. I'm going to have to repaint this so I can see this clearly. But I also want to mark the 14 degree mark, which is where, where I'll set it at. Um, and see where we go from there. So I just used a ratchet or a breaker bar and uh, I turned over the engine manually um, uh, to the uh, in a clockwise direction to get to that mark. Uh, it's easier to work from the top when you're doing this if you're going to be painting. Okay. Uh, I'm just using a little brush, um, and I'm going to paint the uh, I'm going to paint that mark that I was telling you about the 10 degree. Okay, guys, I think I got it there. Uh, it's going to come up really bright as soon as I put the strober on it, but you can clearly see the 10. Those increments are every uh, every two degrees. So, all right, all right, we'll get back to you. <sighs> okay, I've got it marked. Uh, you can clearly see the 10 really well now. But uh, what I want to do, I've I marked the 20 and I've marked in between. Basically what I did was I took a little, took that little brush, painted it in there, and then quickly wiped off the excess so it gets inside the groove. A lot easier if you, if you paint it well, if you paint the, uh, paint the balancer before you put it in. So I would recommend that before you put the balancer on, the new one uh, that you're going to get uh, Go ahead and paint that. Paint all the numbers that that you want to indicate that you want to uh, uh, be highlighted when you have the strobe light on it. So, okay. All right. So let's get the uh, strobe light uh, hooked up. Hey guys, back. Okay. So we got it painted now. Here's a timing light. Uh, mine doesn't have a dial. Okay. No big deal. Um, really, all that's used for is to actually set the exact timing you want. Okay, so you can tell, so you set the timing on the light, uh, if you have a dial kind, and then uh, when, the, when the indicator on the balancer is, uh, is on zero, that means you know you're at, the, you're at the timing that you indicated on the dial. This one, uh, no big deal, I mean originally they did, I don't think they had uh, dials, uh, it's no big deal because all you're going to end up doing is... Um, you're just set. You're just gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna use the indicator on the balancer to tell you where, uh, what degrees you're at. So either one will work. Uh, I think it's it's just, uh, just a basic timing light will work fine. Okay, and we'll go through the procedure right now. So first thing you do. Um, excuse me. I have to fold this. All right. So kind of get this out of the way a little bit. Okay. All right. So first thing you want to do. All right, so get the timing light out of the way. All right. Now the first thing you want to do is hook up your, um, your your leads. Okay. This runs off the battery. Okay. So you hook up your your leads there. Make sure they're strong. Hook up your power. Okay. It'll whine a little. It might have a whine to it. Okay. Then you end up with uh, this now, so you got your lead, you got your power connected, and you, this is what uh, this is what the this is what keeps it in rhythm to the uh, cylinder, number one cylinder, and that's where this goes goes on the number one cylinder plug plug wire tells it tells when the just when the the number one plug wire is getting is is getting fired is getting electricity, okay. All right, so here we go. Uh, you got an indicator. You can see here. It says plug. So you want that to go in the direction towards the plug. So that's how. So in my case, the plug's over here. So that's going to go in that direction. Okay. All right. So let's let's get this hooked up. So. Okay. Let me show you what it looks like. I got to get down in here. Okay. See. Okay, you see the see the cord here, right? Basically, that that see that there's the there it is right there, and that's 
that is hooked up to your number one plug. Okay, remember number one cylinder, number one plug is on the is the left bank, and it's the very first cylinder. Okay, so just make sure you hook it up to there. And remember the the direction, uh, the arrow direction has to be pointing towards the uh, spark plug. Okay, pointing towards it. Okay, and get it as close as you can to the deal. Okay, so we're ready there. Uh, clear your wires out. Okay, make sure. Okay. Okay, you see the, uh, I think I get a better picture here. Okay, there it is. If I can get my finger out of the way. You see that? You see where this little finger is at? Okay, right above that, right above that, right at the tip there, that's the hold down bolt for the distributor. Okay, that needs to be loosened up so I can rotate the, the distributor left or right. Okay. Got that loose. The um, you don't need it's, it's not a it's not, there's not a lot of torque holding it down. So once it kind of feels, you give just put your hand in there and uh, see if it, it unscrew it a little bit. Now you don't need a lot, okay? You don't need to unscrew the whole thing, just enough to where this starts turning because you want a little bit of a hold so it holds in position. So just kind of play with that, but you want a little bit of hold there. Uh, not you don't want it flopping around. Okay, guys. Um, okay, so let me show you the next step here. Um, you see this little white cap? Okay, this is going into the distributor right here. Okay, you can see the distributor. Okay, this is the um, well, the power and, and all the control signals and all that. But what you, that's really not important here. But basically, what you got to do is you take this off. Okay. Once you remove this, this is like removing the vacuum line from a vacuum advance. Uh, if you had a, if your engine was controlled by vacuum advance, uh, this would be like removing that vacuum line from the vacuum advance on the distributor. Since since uh, uh, ours or you know my truck is a con computer controlled advance, then this is removing this allows me to set the timing, the base timing properly. Okay, very important. You got to remove this before you do any timing. Anyways, I put this in a safe spot. Very hard to find. So, okay. Okay, that's flashing to the number one cylinder. Uh, make sure we're on the number one. Yeah, we are. That's flashing to the the number one cylinder um, getting fired. So that's the timing. That's what they mean by timing. Okay, it's, it's at this point, let me show you where we're at, if I can get my light, you see the 10, see why the paint helps so much? Okay, see how the mark is, there's 10, we're both just below 10 degrees, we need to keep going, but that's what it looks like, okay? We're going to go to 14. Okay, we're pretty, we're getting there, we're pretty close, as you can tell. Um, we're above 10, it's, on mine it's every 2 degrees, so I must be around, uh, I must be around 14 right now. The next mark, that big mark, would be 16. So, I think we're pretty good. I think we're 14, maybe 15, which is okay. And, and for the love of God, watch your hands. So easy to, to forget that fan's moving. Okay? And and when you're timing light, watch watch that fully. That could rub against it. Just get one of these flexible ones. These seem to be working pretty well. They, they move around so you can get a good angle. Okay? So now... Oh, wait a minute. I think we're pretty good. We're still holding there, so that's the reason you don't want to undo your bolt uh, on your distributor cap too much. Is because you want it to be able to hold it. Because now you're going to have to go turn off the car, tighten down the bolt, and you don't want it to move while you're you're not holding the distributor. So that's why you don't want to undo it too much. Just enough to make the um, uh, just enough to hold it. Okay. 
All right, guys, let me tighten it down and uh, we'll ch recheck. Okay. There is a certain angle to get this uh, timing light in that will help. Um, watch the wires. A lot of freaking wires right now. Okay. Let me uh, let me get a good. Uh, there it goes. There we go. So, okay, the the big ten, and I know it doesn't look like it's that far from the um, doesn't look like it's that far from the uh, from the ten, but it is. the The ten has a very little mark compared to the rest of the uh, the uh, the graduation marks. They're bigger uh, than the numbered marks. So the. Uh, uh, why am I doing that? Okay, so we're, see how we're pretty close to that middle mark there, and that, since they're every two degrees, so we should be at 14 at that point, and we are, because it's 12 and then 14 degrees. That should be 16, the next mark, and then in between that would be 18, and the next little mark is 20. Make sure I got that. So let's try it there. Uh, see how the gas mileage improves. So, okay. Okay, guys, that's about it. Uh, that's it for timing. Okay, so, uh, turned off the car. Um, okay, everything is, uh, okay, at this point, the next step is to put this spout back in the, right back in the harness here. Sorry, can't see anything. Apologize. Shoot, that's a terrible. Anyways, you remember where it went because you saw me pull it out. That's where it goes. All right. So, and then pop that back in. Now the computer has control of the ignition timing again. Okay. Okay. At this point, you're all done. Unplug uh, and plug everything. And um, and uh, let's. Uh, I'll show you the RPMs have increased, of course. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyways, uh, it's actually still pretty good. Uh, even though I advanced it, um, it only raised it a little bit of RPMs. It wasn't very much. Um, it was at 650. Uh, now it's now I see it idling just a little bit above, a uh, little bit above 700. So 750. So I've increased the idle about 100 RPMs. Um, and we'll see what it does for gas. Uh, I was told advancing will help. Um, well, I'll see it drop back down. So that there's a computer controlling it again. So um, it it uh, it's doing pretty good actually. Okay, that's still pretty good. That's exactly where it was before, anyways. So I really should have come in here when I had the spout out. It's uh, all this oh, that's strange. Here, let me. Uh, let me do something here for you guys. Okay, so I, I pulled the spout, and... Okay. So, there we go. See, it's actually quite a bit higher. Let's, let's wait for it to... I don't think it's going to... Okay, remember I told you uh, 650. It was about 650 when the... Uh, when, this, when I originally did it at 10, uh, when I had the spat out before at 10. So now it's hovering above 700. That's without, oh. Uh, okay, so you, you get it, guys. Your RPMs are going to increase, okay? Um, so that's, that's what I wanted to show you here. Uh, 650 is what the factory recommends, and that's at 10 degrees. That's kind of how you know where you're at, okay? Um, where you're at in degrees if your RPMs are about 650. Alright, so now, uh, see, now we're climbing almost 8. It's crazy, isn't it? I wonder why it's doing that. I don't know. Maybe the weather. Anyways, I don't have the spout in. But, anyways, okay, I will, let me put the spout back in and I'll, we'll get back.